Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins and as you can tell I'm using the Unicamel mount which you get from the new pack which arrived called the Wacky Pack. I kind of call it the crazy Wacky Pack because it's a crazy. That's right. Starting off with the items that you get from the Wacky Pack. First of all, you saw the mount. Then we get the Cupid's bow which has a unique special feature which I'll show you soon enough. Then we have the LOL cat or the LOL cat which is a mummified cat heavy blunt which has health on hit which is pretty cool. Then we have the swab, the cotton swab. It has health on hit as well, combo multiplier balanced, adrenaline on kill balanced. This weapon is pretty well balanced as a staff so I'd say this is a pretty cool weapon and funny at that because it's a cotton swab for <laughs> the game and moving on to the outfit that's supposed to be complementing the whole crazy wacky pack is this outfit the bath towel outfit although I say that the bath towel outfit only complements the well, the cotton swab, that's it. The bath towel just complements the cotton swab because the swab or swab or cotton swab or however you want to pronounce it, it only cleans stuff just like your towels do. It cleans you up after your bath. But then it was supposed to complement the whole stack of weapons in the pack. But no, that's not it. As you can see, there's a mummified weapon, heavy blunt. And if you're wondering what this thing complements most, well, it complements the outfit called the mummy outfit in the game. Definitely looks pretty, well, they look pretty much like they go awesome together. Look at it. That is definitely something that goes well together. And as someone suggested in my stream before, they would like to see a mummified mount or a horse. That would be pretty cool. That would have been pretty cool. But anyways, moving along, we do have another weapon. It is this cursed swordfish. Pretty smart to use the word swordfish for some weapon that is a sword. Why is it cursed? Well, you can see that my health bar just went down by 30% or 33%. The swordfish does look pretty well detailed and all, but it's the smallest swordfish I've seen. And which outfit it complements more, you ask? That's right, it complements Mr. Edward, the pirate from Black Flag, Assassin's Creed series. Pretty cool, right? Each weapon in the crazy wacky pack kind of complements one outfit or the other, so you guys can check it out. But do let me know if you can tell me what the bow resembles or which outfit the bow would complement pretty well. And getting to the bow, that reminds me, it does have a very lame rate of fire being a light bow. Eh, I wouldn't care about the rate of fire because it is well balanced for one reason and one reason only. It's because of this. Check it out. The bow shoots hearts. <laughs> the bow shoots hearts out. It's a Cupid's bow. That's what it does. And it's pretty well detailed as well and the design is pretty awesome. But the best part about it is it shoots hearts out. Projectile hearts go as arrows and hit your enemy. And the critical hit rate does the rest. Coming to the whole point about this review of the whole pack. Is it worth it to buy the pack from the store for 1000 helix credits? And the answer is... Nope. No, that's right, you heard me. No, it's not worth 1000 helix credits, man, come on. A horse that has the unicorn's uh, same animations for the hoof doing the rainbow trails. No, that's not new. That's not new in any way. And it has a horn like the unicorn. Just because it's a camel, it doesn't mean that it's something different. And the fact that they use the same camel as Mary Hecker which is the only camel that was white in the game. Now they have another white camel 
completely white camel. All they did was take out the saddle on Mary Hecker uh, and then gave it a mohawk on the hump with rainbow colors on it. They could have just made the rainbow colors go all the way up to the tail and also on its uh, beard and the hair. They didn't. It's just the hump. It just looks awkward. Although it's kind of funny and uh, as the name of the wacky pack suggests that it is wacky, I wouldn't pay 500 helix credits for a mount which is just another copy of the unicorn mount in the game. Whoa. Just because it became a uni camel doesn't mean 500 helix credits is worth spending on this. And a thousand helix credits for the whole pack. Okay, let me just tell you guys that according to me, uh, in my opinion, I actually got bored of this weapon pretty soon. Although it looks cool when the heart shapes go out, it would have made more sense if it was in Valentine's on Valentine's Day. Really would have made more sense on Valentine's Day with heart shaped uh, arrows going out. But it doesn't convert any of the enemies into good people. They still attack you on uh, shooting them with the hearts. They don't get the point rather than start chasing you with swords and uh, throwing spears at you and shooting arrows back. And the mummy, well, I like the design. I can't complain. The design is pretty cool. And the fact that it's a cat on a heavy blunt, it's pretty cool. Everyone loves a cat, except for dog lovers, I think. I don't know. Cats are cool. And the game does support cats a lot. And cats are pretty sacred in Egypt, so let's go with that. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't pay a thousand helix credits. That's it. Oh yeah, we have discounts. On every store item right now, we have discounts. Uh, helix credits discounts, that is. I got the mount, the rare mount, for 150 helix credits, which costs 250 helix credits actually, before the discount. And I think it's a 50% discount that the store has right now but if you're wondering there's a discount on the gladiators pack or nightmare pack or first civilization pack well looking at this image right now it doesn't show that it has a discount although i do not know if the gladiators pack can have a discount right about now because it was pretty recent that it came out I think that the Nightmare Pack and the First Civilization Pack might have a discount for sure. But it depends on you guys if you want to waste the Helix credits because there was some information from Ubisoft saying that come this January we are going to have the Hacker Chest filled up with all the Nightmare Pack items and then the gladiator pack and also the first civilization pack items it is out there already but there are some errors that ubisoft is going through for the hecka chest and all the uh, crazy packs out there so i would say wait till january when the hecka chest has no issues with the other packs in the store and again this crazy wacky pack that is released right now is not really worth 1000 helix credits. Or maybe it's worth 1000 helix credits but for players to buy it, definitely not worth for players to buy it. They might as well just wait for it to come to the hacker chest. And I'm pretty sure most of them or most players who have all the millions of gold coins that they got from some glitches. I envy you so much. But yeah, you can just wait for it and then buy those from the Hacker Chest. And if you want to see these weapons in action, do check out my stream down below. I did use them on a few crazy enemies out there. Uh, the description has, my, has the link for my stream that I did with the crazy wacky pack. So check that out. And also... I think that's about it and again my review for this wacky pack is that it is not worth 1000 helix credits to be wasted on so you might as well wait for it. The only good thing about this uh, wacky pack was I think the bow having the heart shaped projectiles and then this uh, mummified cat 
which has health on head perk and also the swab or swab however you want to uh, pronounce it cotton swab if you will has health on it as well the only staff that has health on hit in the game right now is this one there could be a health on kill but oh well that's about it guys and uh, thanks for watching hope this uh, review of the crazy wacky pack was uh, satisfactory for you guys and uh, does help you decide whether or not you want to waste the amount of uh, helix credits that is out there i'm pretty sure everyone knows by now that a thousand helix credit for something that was already in the game is uh, not worth buying like i said unicorn just because it's a camel and named it unicamel doesn't make it a new thing or doesn't really make it something innovative so other than the fact that it was just a copy paste from the already existing uh, camel and already existing uh, mechanism for the hoofs with the rainbow trails eh, it's not worth it maybe the weapons could be worth it but you decide if you want to buy it separately i would say again that i regret wasting thousand helix credits for this and I hope you guys would make a better decision on your own after watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you like this video as well. Me showing off this crazy wacky pack. And if you want to see it in action, do check out the stream in the link down in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And keep smiling. See you guys.